Propeller Heads has released an update to Reason, Reason 7.1, and this is a free update to all Reason 7 users. Also with the Reason 7.1 update is you get a free synchronous rack extension. Now this is only free for a limited time up until June 30th of 2014 for Reason 7.1 users. And if you already have Reason 7, be sure to go ahead and do this update as soon as possible so you can get your free synchronous rack effect. So here I am in my account and I'm already downloading the Reason 7.1 update, just the update. You can also download the full installation if you want, but I only need the update because I already have the sound banks here. And make sure that you follow these instructions before you uninstall your previous version of Reason. So while this is downloading, I'm going to go ahead and move my sound banks out of this folder. I'll just pop them on the desktop. All right, so now I'm going to uninstall Reason 7 so we'll be all ready to install Reason 7.1. All right, so I've uninstalled Reason 7. I'm on Windows, so you can do that in Control Panel and Programs and Features. All right, so now we're just waiting for the download here to complete. Then we'll unzip the file and install Reason 7.1. Now I have already unzipped the downloaded Reason 7.1 update, so I'll go ahead and install Reason now. And install Reason 7.1 on your computer. Now keep in mind that I'm installing on Windows 8 64-bit, so when I install Reason 7.1, it's going to install the 64-bit version. If you need the 32-bit version, there is a way you can do that. Maybe you need the 32-bit version for rewire compatibility with Pro Tools 10 and below. And there's a way to do that, and I already have a video posted on how to install 32-bit on a 64-bit OS on Windows. But since I'm mainly using Pro Tools 11 now, and it is 64-bit, I think I'll just install the 64-bit version. So we'll go ahead and hit Next, continue through this, and install. So now we just need to wait a little bit for the installation to complete. The installation is now finished, so we'll click Finish there. And then we need to make sure we put our factory sound banks back into their proper folder. So just navigate to your program files, propeller heads folder, and in reason here, and I'll just simply pull them back in. There we go. Now we should be all set up and uh, ready to run reason 7.1. There it is. It's coming up 7.1. And there we go. Now we have reason 7.1 about reason right there. 7.1. Awesome. Real quick, let's make sure that Reason is working within Pro Tools 11. So I've got Pro Tools 11 open, have my stereo instrument track. So I'll come down here to instruments. I'll choose Reason. That should open up Rewire. There we go, it's coming up. We'll just load up Thor here. Okay, so it appears to be working. If I press some keys on the keyboard, I'm not getting any sound. That's because I need to come up here to my input and make sure I choose Thor, okay? And then I need to make sure on my outputs on rewire, I'm going to put that on main out left, right. And then if I press a couple of keys, there we go. We have sound. So reason 7.1 working in pro tools 11. Now, if I right click in here and look for synchronous, you see, it's not in here that I'm going to, have to install so i'll close down reason so i'm in my propeller heads account rack extensions and i'm not seeing synchronous so i'll come here to the shop all right and i'm logged in make sure you're logged into your account and do this after you have installed reason 7.1 and you can see it's free only until june 30th 2014 for reason 7.1 users so you know again make sure you do this as quick as you can and i'll just click on buy here and right there, now it's in my cart, zero dollars. I'll check out. There we go. So now I'll go ahead and download it. Now it's going to launch the authorizer and download and install the free synchronous. This will be cool here. All right, there we go. Now it's writing the license and now it's done. So I'll close that down. Then I'll come back into my account and I'll just click sync all here. All right, so now it's showing up. I scroll down here. There we go, synchronous. So we'll close down our browsers now. Pop open Reason 7.1 again. And we'll right click, and I'm guessing it's being creative. Yep, we we'll clicked the wrong one there. Synchronous, and there it is. 
This is a pretty cool looking extension. So that is how you would download and install the Reason 7.1 update and get your free synchronous rack extension just for being a Reason 7.1 user. Again, only free for a very limited time, so get it quick. And by the way, if you would like to try out Reason 7, you can do that. There is a free trial available. So that's definitely something you're going to want to check out. So be sure to check out that trial if you don't already have Reason. And if you have Reason 7, go ahead and get that update today and get your free Synchronous. So now let's check out a little bit of what Synchronous can do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 